Hey there guys, today I got a quick video here for you. It's going to be a profile cylinder made by uh, Sisa. It says that right up here. Um, the lock does work, got the keys in it. Uh, I got it all wrapped up, this is really greasy and oily. But as you can see, I can turn the key, so it is working. It's going to be a profile cylinder with a knob lock on the back of it right here. Uh, but uh, should be able to get it picked open. This lock does have security pins. Uh, here's a look at the key bidding. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, like I said, the lock does work. Uh, this is Sissa on the bow of the key. It says lock key and lock key on the other side. And there's no numbers. Uh, this is definitely a five pin lock. What's kind of nice about this lock is you can count the chambers. I think move this piece of tissue here. Uh, you, can, you can see the chambers right here. One, two, three, four, five. So it's got five pins in it. And like I said, it does have security pins in it. And uh, the keyway is kind of wide at the bottom, so i got to use a different uh, tension wrench, if you will. Uh, if, you, if I use my standard tension wrench, it just slips around down there and binds up in the keyway. It does have a paracentric keyway. I uh, should be able to pick this lock open here for you, like I said. Uh, basically, I'm going to go to the back of the lock and get underneath all the pins. Keyway makes it very hard to pick for me. Uh, this lock should drop into a false set once I get that back pin. Start lifting that back pin up. It's really hard to maneuver the pick around. There we go. Let's see if I can get it into a false set here. Get on that back pin. Well, maybe. Okay, there's the back pin. As soon as I touched it and lifted it up, it locked dropped into a false set. Now if I can just go back in here. Pick around and get out of this false set. Should be in business. I'm just starting. I think I'm on the fourth pin now. I'm just looking at some feedback in my tension wrench. Getting a little bit, so I'm getting closer. Maybe that third pin. I'm keep my pick where I need to. There's the third pin. We're going to the second, getting towards the front of the keyway here. Still in a in a false set. I'm on the first pin now. I'm set it, dropped into another false set. Going to the second pin, working my way under it, getting a little bit of feedback. Okay, got that set. I'm gonna go to the first pin now, nothing. Working my way back. That one was probably I think I'm on the fourth pin there maybe. Working my way towards the front of the keyway now. I think I'm under first pin again. Well, keep going in and out, false sets. I'm going to work my way back here, get underneath this pin. Got a deeper false set. Getting some feedback. Get my pick under it. I think I'm under the second pin. There we go. And there's false set. This first pin sets really high, so. And there it is. Picked open. As you can see, the plug has turned. So. There it was, picked open. And like I said, there's really nothing special about the key bit in here. Uh, except the pins, you need know, to push them way up. Key's got some shallow cuts on it. There's a look at it. That's going to be a profile cylinder by Sissa. C-I-S-A. Uh, it's a fairly nice lock. Like I said, I got it all covered up here. And it's a knob, knob turn. Knob lock, if you will. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And I hope everyone's doing okay.